Yeah. Man, y'all look so good. We're going to start off with the word of God. If you can come on up for a brother. Bring it up. We're going to bring Matthew 4. 1. I believe 1 through 12. We well, keep going. Matthew 4, 1 through 12. I'll tell you when to stop. When you go to your Bibles, Matthew 4, 1 through 12. It might be a little longer. I'll tell you when to quit. Great game for me. Hold them up. Hold them up. Yeah. It's free game. Not there. Say hold them up. Be there. Say amen. Yeah. <laughs> then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up unto the holy city, and set him upon a pinnacle of the temple. And saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is also written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against the stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again that thou uh, shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and saith unto him all these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me then saith Jesus unto him get thee behind me or get thee hence Satan for it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shall thou serve then the devil leaveth him and behold angels came and ministered unto him. Now when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee and leaveth Nazareth and he came and dwelt in Capernaum. Amen, amen. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Boy, y'all sweat, didn't he? <laughs> Guys, Jesus fasted for 40 days and the devil tried his best to trick Jesus. I'm going to tell y'all something today, church. The devil's going to do his best to try to twick you. Uh-oh, that's how I put it that. Twick. He's going to try to trick you. Everything you're going through, the devil will try to do his best to stop you from getting where you want to go. But you know what? There's a man named Jesus. We should be putting our hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. we got to fight the devil with the word of God. He kept saying it is written. You see, Satan kept trying to challenge him. Jesus, while he was weak. He didn't eat. Could you imagine not eating for 40 days? I couldn't imagine not eating for 15 minutes. Donuts look good over there. Jesus said, well, the donuts are, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you something. We got to do our best. That's the message today. Doing your best. We need to do our best. Everything we do, we need to stop half-stepping. A lot of us half-step. Could you imagine if Jesus half-stepped on the mountain? We wouldn't even be here today. The devil's going to try to trick you every single day. The first thing I want to talk about, we got to put effort in everything we do. The devil don't want you to do your best. He don't want you to feel your best. He wants you sick. Be careful what you say out of your mouth, even about your relationship. You know, me and my wife, we went through a lot in our relationship. But we have to speak positive things. No matter what we went through, we got to speak positive. You're going to get into the devil will try to get in your relationship. He'll try to take your kids away from you. But you got the power to talk like Jesus. It is written. Get back, Satan. Somebody say, get back, Satan. Back, Tell him to get back. get back. He's trying to take our children. He's trying to take everything from you. Everything you, your finances, he don't want you successful. He wants you out there pushing a cart. We should be helping people push carts, amen? amen? Do exactly what Jesus do. You see that scripture when he was reading? Everything he said, man, what he said, uh, Matthew 4, 4, it is written, man cannot live on bread, or, uh, bread alone, but the word of perceived out of his mouth of God. Guys, we speak what God says. We can speak out of our mouth the word of God. We need to start talking positive about our situations. Doing our best. Never give up. We got to trust God. A lot of us don't even trust ourselves. We need to fix our hearts. I'm going to tell you that right now. If you don't fix your heart, not even Jesus of Nazareth can help you. If you don't fix your heart, not even God himself can come down and help you. 
If you're still doing the same thing talking about yesterday, I used to do this. I used to do this. Sometimes my kids are coming to me, Pops, you remember you used to do I got to hit them with the word of God and ask them. They hate it because I come with something positive every time. But the enemy wants me to say, hey, yeah, you're right. You sure right. I used to do this. Let's go do this again. I'm not going to be tricked. Yesterday I was at the flea market. I met this lady. Nice lady. She's pretty. A little nice lady came to me, walked up to me. She kept asking questions over and over and over and over. I kept saying, well, Jesus, I said, it is written. She kept asking over. She was trying to get me to stumble. Then I told her all the pastor, she goes, oh, you're the pastor. It was like the devil was looking for me to say something stupid. She kept asking questions. She goes, you're a very powerful man, but you don't listen. She was trying to get me to listen to tell, she was trying to tell me that it was all about me. I told her it's all about God. It's not about me. She said, no, it's about you. I kept telling her, no, it's about Jesus. It's what Jesus, she didn't want to hear that. You know why? She's got problems herself. She don't understand this book. So she's going to try to get around everything she can, go around every curve. Y'all know anybody that ever does that? Yeah. I used to do it all the time. My mama tell me to sweep. Guess what I do? I sweep everything on the stove. <laughs> she moved the stove. Oh, my God, pumpkin. You take it in there. I get a whooping. Don't forget about the closet. Seriously, yeah. We have high stuff, those stuff in the closet. A lot of us still do it. Our laundry. Our laundry. Maybe she probably put it on me. Uh, we throw our laundry, hide it in the closet. We hide everything from. We don't want to clean it up, so we just put it over here. And that's what a lot of us are doing in our life spiritually. We're too busy and trapped in the closet. So we're hiding stuff. We can't come out because we're stirred. We don't want to accept Jesus. We do, but we don't. A lot of us is not right with God, I'm telling you. If we don't fix our hearts, if we don't do our best we can, we'll be just like the devil. And yesterday I kept telling her, oh, yeah. So she, you know what the Bible says? Go to the scripture right here. James. No, 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 no. I'm not even going to go there. Yeah, James 1, verse 22. James 1, verse 22. If you're not there, say, hold them up. If you're there, say, amen. Amen. Come on up here, Miski. Me, 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 me. James 1, verse 22. <laughs> James 1, verse 22. Sorry, sir. If you're not there, say, hold them up. If you're there, say, amen. Come on down here, sister. Y'all better go up and Bob Barker. Come on down. He's yours. But don't judge. Just listen to God's word. You must be what it says. Otherwise, you will only fooling, only fooling yourselves. Amen. Yeah. The Bible says be a doer of the word, not just a listener. You can listen to the word all day long, but are you putting it in action? Yesterday I was challenged. I knew it was the devil. Because the question she kept asking me, she wouldn't quit. My kids were like, what, what's going on? She would not quit. She was persuasive. She knew exactly what she was doing. You see, I, I read Proverbs 31. I'm looking for a Proverbs 31 woman, and I got her right here. She tried to trick me. She wanted me to say the things that she wanted to hear. So I can follow what she do. You see, the devil will send a woman your way. You could be married, a, a girl, a guy. He will, he will do whatever it takes to ruin your relationship. I'm going to tell you that. Your relationship, the devil will. But you know what? Jesus can stop that right now. Come on, y'all. Put y'all's hands together. He will stop that. If you go to his word, look at something. Stop struggling. You cannot be enticed. You can be enticed by your own desires. You see, we desire a lot of things. I'm not going to say anybody's name, but we're in Bricktown. They see a girl walk by and they go, ooh. I'm like, what? Oh, wow. I'll hear this all day long. Oh. Can't help you see that, Pops? No, I don't. Where's me, me? Where's she at, man? We're enticed by our desires, by the lust, and that's the devil. He wants you to lust. He wants you to have something that ain't yours. He wants you to steal. He wants you to kill. He wants you to destroy. But I'm going to go to the scripture, and this is so real. Psalms 37.4. Your heart, everything you desire. Come on up here. Psalms 37.4. Come on up here, Jay. Come on up here, Jay. 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 Psalms 37 4. He would never look at females like that. Tell him we don't do that. Never. Uh, For men of God. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Delight yourself in the God. He will give you everything from your heart. We got to fix our hearts, church. We're too busy worried about what we want to do. 
Just the other day, another example, me and my brother went to the radio station and we was talking to the lady about getting our, 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 our services on the radio. This lady was so bickerish. She had so much envy and hate in her heart, didn't she? When we talked to her, everything we said, she called security. She did, didn't she? Called a big dude. Big guy. He's like, what's going on? What's going on? I was like, uh-oh. Pastor, what are we going to do? Let's pray. You see, the devil's going to do his best to not let you get to the next level, but he cannot stop it with the word of God. Come on now, church. He cannot stop it. He's going to do his best. But you know what? I said, let's just pray about it. All the only thing Apostle asked was, what radio station can we go to to preach on? She's like, no. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Way, way more than that. The daughter, I said, that's a pretty dress she's wearing for the prom. I was just being nice. <laughs> yep. What? She just tripped out. She tripped out. But the devil's lost. She tripped, she tripped out. out. Yes, call back up for the good cop and the bad cop. And she was serious. But you know what? I'm we have to know that God's plan will always prevail. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Second thing I want to talk about, we got to do everything with a purpose. Stop going through the motions. Everything should be from the heart. Encourage others. Bring somebody up, y'all. I don't care what you got to say. Bring them up. Let the pastor know how good he looks today. Bring people up. Quit bringing them down. Let's encourage others. Could you imagine coming home to a nagging wife every single day? Or a nagging husband? Do y'all know any people that nag? That's all they do is nag, nag, nag. They talk about everything you do. We have to do everything with a purpose. Stop trying to impress everybody. Especially in your relationships. You're trying to impress them, trying to show off every day. Keep it real. I know I can't cook. If my wife asks me to go cook, I'm in there making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm going to keep it real. For real. Ladies, we got to keep it real about our husbands. When they do, they don't want to take out the trash. Stuff like that. We need to keep it real, but stop trying to impress people. Tell your kids the truth. Jesus is the truth. He's the one that's going to set you free. He's the one that's going to pull you from the addiction. He's the one that's going to pull you from the affliction. All the problems you're going through. God is already a deliverer. He is a deliverer. He is a provider. He is a protector. He is a healer. He is a conqueror. Come on now, put your hands together. These are things that God has done in your life. But the devil will do his best. If he did it to Jesus, he's going to do it to you. He's going to catch you in the simple. Don't let him catch you slipping. Do not let the devil catch you slipping. Be ready. Be prepared. Go to the scripture, Colossians 3, verse 23 through 24. Come on up, verse 70. Come on up, verse 70. Oh, yeah. Colossians. Colossians 3, verse 23. Oh, yeah. There we go. Give her, give me, come on up here, next sister. Three, verse 23 through 24. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. If you're not there, say, hold them up. you there, say amen. Everybody on Facebook and YouTube. Colossians 3, verse 23 through 24. All right, here we go. Come on, church. Put that together. Yeah. Amen. Yay, good job. Do everything for God. Do everything for God. Stop doing everything for people. Man will always let you down. The first thing I want y'all to put down do, if y'all want a job or a position, or even if you want money, go to God first. Stop trying to call somebody and borrow money. People borrow money, don't want to pay it back. People always do that. Things they do instead of going to God first. God is a supervisor. He's the one going to provide it. He's going to give you more than just a little money. Hallelujah. Thank you for putting your hands together. God's going to provide things supernaturally. Have you ever had a supernatural blessing? And I want to let y'all know something while we're here. This is a book. It's a very powerful book that my brother wrote. And if you want a copy, we got it right now for twenty nine ninety five. <laughs> if you want to want a book, y'all ask him. It's a lot of things in here that speaks about supernatural healing, power, and restoration. Blessings. Spiritual things, things you speak in existence. This is a good book right here. So if y'all want one at the church, or if you can, on YouTube, 
You can go ahead and uh, what's your cash app? The link. He'll give it to him for free. Hey, there it goes. He'll give it to you for free. Put your hands together. It's a very powerful book. It's a very powerful book. But we got to hold on to what God is telling us. Do everything for the Lord, not man. We have so much pain. We hate. We jealous. We have envy. This is something in our hearts, guys. Bitterness. All the pain that we have in our heart, we're taking out other people. Do y'all know anybody take out everything on you? Do y'all know anybody that does things like this? You know why? Because they're not saved. You are. You got to start killing them with kindness. They take something out of you. Do something. Do something positive. Hallelujah. Speak good. Hallelujah. Don't don't ever go to soup to the level. Hallelujah. That's what the enemy wants you to do. He wants you to stoop to the level. Your relationship you're going through. You're going through something right now. Nobody even understands the storm. Nobody even understands why people talk to you like this. Nobody understands. But you know what? When I say the name Jesus. Jesus. Somebody say it with me. Jesus. Look at somebody and tell them I'm blessed. Tell them I'm blessed. You are blessed. Stop worrying about what the enemy is doing right now, guys. The last thing I want to talk about, we got to stand firm. Stop being weak. Especially weak. Stand behind your word. Your word is all you got. Your word is all you got. Stand firm. If it doesn't line up with the word of God, it's not real. Amen? Hallelujah. If it's not lining up with the word of God, it's not even real. You shouldn't even listen to it. Hallelujah. If I tell you something, don't even listen to me. It has to line up with what God says about your situation. What does God say if you got cancer? What does God say about your children? What does God say? Go to the Bible. What is Jesus? Somebody say Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on now. What does God say about your situation? We got to stand firm and stand on God's word. Stand on his word. A lot of us, we do it, I'm telling you, all the time. We read the Bible, and we do the opposite of the Bible. Today is a new day. It's a new day. We're going to start accepting Jesus right now like never before, church. I'm challenging you. I challenge y'all today. Stop listening to man. Just believe in it. Give God the glory and all the honor. You see, the devil, we might need another speaker. This might be blown, but he cannot stop the word of God. I don't even need this microphone to speak the word of God. Because there's power in the word of God. God's word lives. People always tell me, they're like, man, how do you know God's even real? Through his word. Through his word. And you know what the Bible means, y'all? Basic instruction before leaving earth. Can you get that bottom line, please? If y'all can stand up, church. Thank you. She's the first time anybody, she did it perfect. Nobody else does it perfect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what? Today, I want y'all to be y'all's best. Be the best in all you can be. Father God, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just want to thank you, Father. I thank you for your presence in this church. Lord, I rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus. Somebody step on the devil's head right now and tell him, get back, Satan. Get back. Get away from our children. You cannot have any dominion over this family. Lord, I speak explosive blessings of everybody walking in this church. That today, God is going to change your life like never before. You see, the devil's scared. He don't want you to know what, what you know right now. He don't want you to be the child of the Most High. But right now, I want you to repeat that to me. Let's rededicate our life. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And I believe he rose on the third day. You see, if you pray that message, right if you pray that, when you leave this church, God is going to supernaturally bless you like never before. You're no longer the same. You're never going to do the same thing. You're going to do your best. You're going to listen to God. You're going to believe in Jesus. You're going to know that Jesus said you. He set you free. You are set free. You are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. You are never the same. You don't have to talk the same. You don't have to do the same thing you used to do. Get rid of the people out of your life. And we got to get rid of them. Start all over. God is telling you he loves you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. Come on, turn, put your hands together. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I speak against anything that's holding us back. That your Lord will be fulfilled in our life. That we're going to receive a supernatural blessing. Lord, that you're going to bring somebody in their life. You're going to take away the people out of their life. You're going to bring the right people in. We're going to be blessed in. The Bible says, we're blessed in. We're blessed now. 
now I see you were there for me and I'm stronger and I'm wiser I'm better so much better when I look back over my life and see all you brought me through I'm here to say I never would have made it known. My auntie hugged. Huh? My auntie hugged. She's about to leave. I would have lost my mind. And I did lose my mind. But God gave it back to me. Hello, hallelujah. I never should have made it. When I shot myself, I never could have made it. And honey, babe. Without you. I was still here, young. In spite of me, he loved me anyway. I never would have made it. On the streets at six years old. Paralyzed and crippled, couldn't walk. But I'm still here now, baby. But it's by God's grace, it's by God's grace that I'm still here. Can't nobody tell it like I can tell it. Listen, let me say one thing. You see my glory, but you don't know my story. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know the tears. Sometimes I wanted to throw in the town, but I heard God say, Go just a little longer, son. I got something for you. I never, never would have made. Should have been there sleeping in my grave. Yes, I did. I should have been there home, but I'm still here. I just want to testify that Jesus is Lord over everything in my life. Now that little, 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 Woo! Come on! I never would have made it. Yes. If you can testify, help me say, I never would have made it. Without you, without you, without you, without you, without you. Without you. I'm never gonna leave you Cause you're my child And I love you Unconditionally Listen y'all When nothing else could help Love, 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 love Love, 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 love Love, 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 But I know I never made it. That's it, boss. That's it, bro. Man. Woo! There you go again, y'all. There you go. Woo! 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 Woo!
We got 20 minutes, we need to go.